Okay, so this is going to be the best build to build a Ryzen 3800 or 3900X. So, I wonder if they're already selling them, because they should be. So, that's a lie. Already right now, that's a lie. They're saying that it's only 24 per threads now? Here, oh, okay, so the 39, uh, the... The 3950X is the actual 16 to 32. So you're going to be wanting, wanting to build either a 3800 or a 3950. 3850X is the one that has 16 as well, but I don't know why they've changed it. They've changed it to a 39, so, so th this is a 3950. So the 3850 is now a 3950X. So that's a little question mark. Um, that Okay, so... We're still going to be running DDR4. We're running the right, correct RAM for our build because I've uh, I've gotten the best RAM. Wait, where's the RAM? Okay, so I need to put the RAM in the price here. One second. Okay, so now we're back, and this is the RAM that I'm going with. The DDR4 3200s. It actually says it supports it, so that's good. Add to cart. No thanks. I don't want local coverage. So, my RAM wasn't at it before, now it is. Okay, so now we're at $928 for with the RAM, I guess. So we got, we're got we going with a uh, Coolmaster Masterbox MB511 RGB. You can mount this liquid cooler to the top and have three fans on the on the side. To con and you get a, um, R a controller to control the fan speeds probably and the... RBG thing and you also get one for this too which is controlled internally in the computer probably so you could probably get both of them to do that and we're going with a Corsair 850 watt because that's what I'm currently using now you can also we'll just I'll just sh show you another one that you can go with you can go with a 200 RM a 200 RM uh, if power um, let me yeah, it's hard to search for these things. So we could either go for a RM1000X, which I think that's what I have. Uh, here, I'll, I'll actually go back and show you my recent order from a long time ago. And that's in one of my 2014 builds. Uh, it's right here. So we'll go here. So this is the power supply that I used in 2014, and it's still running perfectly fine. So I would say get get one that is equivalent to this and it's a gold series because if it's not a gold series um i wouldn't buy it uh how much did i pay for this i only paid 200 and 225 dollars altogether so now they're kind of up selling these so let's see if we can actually search for this i get i guess that's kind of the same one that i had before but it's not. They're kind of ripping people off now, actually, for the power supplies. Cause, cause look, I only paid two hundred something for this thing, and look at the design on it. It's way much better than than the the newer one that they have now, the X. That's that's stupid. If you can find someone that's selling one of these for probably like two hundred bucks, that's actually a good deal, cause these are good. I don't know if they're if they're changing with their power supplies but uh, when I search that up it doesn't find it so weird uh, so let's see let's do the full thing so I want to find the exact same power supply and it doesn't look like you can it doesn't it doesn't look like they sell it they don't sell it no more that's that's weird I, I didn't think they wouldn't they wouldn't sell them no more so you have you have the choice between a Corsair one and the Corsair ones are pretty good I mean they got a 10 year manufacturer warranty so you can send it back anytime you want within that 10 years oh I think all you do is you pay the shipping then they send it back to you and refund you I think they refund you your shipping but I'm not sure I think I think they pay for the shipping to come back so you're only paying one shipping price for them to repair it within 10 years so that's that's pretty good. I haven't seen anything go wrong with power supplies now. Maybe before when you're running like a 400 watt or 
a three something or a two something in your machine because that's what they used to run at and then yeah that's when you had problems but now but now you don't really have that many problems sometimes they arrive where they're already where they're not already working and that's when you want to send it back that's the only time you want to test your power supply when you first get it to make sure it actually is working because sometimes they're not working and i've had one where it wasn't and it was refurbished and uh, I bought it and it wasn't working at all. I tried it on like three different computers. It was not working. So I sent it back, got my money back. So that's the only time. But if you're buying brand new like I am from, from Newegg, if you're going to be buying brand new from Newegg, this is where you want to buy everything brand new. When you're buying um, stuff on Newegg, you want to make sure it's sold and shipped by Newegg and not sold and shipped by some random person. Because if it's ran, it's like if it says random person right here, a random shop name or whatever, you don't want to buy it because that means it's used. So you don't you don't want to buy it from non new egg. Now I have no idea if they're releasing new graphics cards. I haven't been watching it, so I don't know. But uh, you can get a you can get a 280 Ti for a thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars, or you can go with a Radeon. Oh, oops. You can go with a Radeon 7, which is about a thousand bucks, which is what I'm using right now in my current 2700X 20, 20, build. That's what I'm using right now. Is a, um, I'm not using, wait. Whoa, they released a whole bunch of other, um, name brands. Maybe I, I think I, I think I got an Asus when I bought mine, so. I got I got an Asus, but it doesn't really matter actually at this point. It doesn't matter which one you bought because they're all the same apparently. But uh, yeah. Oh, let me just uh, let me just add that to the um to the uh, to the cart so that you can see how much. And you don't really need to get a warranty on that. You just gotta make sure it works when you put it in. Uh, I would suggest buying everything at once, building the machine. I do not buy pre-built. Do not buy a pre-built machine thinking that it's going to be really good because it's not and they use they use lesser components in it and they charge you the same price so like you'll get like a let's say let's say this build let's say let's say they have this case this this hard drive they're going to be charging you more money on the hard drive more money on the case they're going to be charging you Probably more money on the power supply, and you're only going to get like a 650 watt power supply for about this price because that's what they do. And when they sell you a pre-built, they give you the lowest power supply. They give you, they don't, they don't give you liquid cooling. They give you like a shitty stock fan, so you, you in like a year you'll be wondering why your motherboard's dying because the shitty stock fan is overheating your computer. You'll get a shitty solid state drive, so you'll get like something from. I don't know, some unknown, unnamed company, which they, they're they not really good to go with. So I suggest going with the Kingston because Kingston has been the best uh, solid state drive that I've seen so far that lasts really long. Uh, the one that I, this is the, the current one that I have, and I have another one that's uh, like a 20 gig, and it works perfectly fine on my other machine. So, and I've had that since 20, since whenever they released them. And they don't, They've they've been pretty good. They haven't slowed down in speed, and I'll show you here in, in a second. So, as you can see, you always want you want to keep your solid state at about 20 to 16 gigs, and you need to have a 20 120 for Windows 10, because I think Windows 10 does like I don't know. Um, let's see here. It uses about like I don't know 50 gigs. <laughs> I don't know why. But it uses a ton of usage. So what we're looking at here now is a... Oh, also you can get the 50th anniversary um, Radeon 7. Which means you'll get like a Radeon 7 with like the 50th anniversary backplate. Which I should have weighed it because I could have gotten one. And that was, that's my bad. But whatever. Uh, so now we're looking at two grand for this computer. Which actually is pretty good because if you go to other websites and you'll look at their builds right they'll be charging you like 2500 20 2600 3000 and if you look if you do the math for this everything here is a full this is like almost a full computer we're looking at probably like an extra 150 for the motherboard 
and then we're looking probably like 600 for the CPU because I think that's what people have been saying it is. So we're at 750, and then we're gonna put 1996. So we're looking at 20, 2746. So that's actually pretty cheap. And other companies will probably be trying to sell you this build for, I don't know, 3000, 3600, 3400. And they'll also be charging you the shipping on top of that. So you'll probably be paying like, I don't know, a thousand bucks extra. So you'd be paying that price instead of the price. Well, actually, you'll be paying like this price. Minus, um, what was the price that I was, um, so you'll be paying 1996 plus 750, right? Minus 2746. So you'll be paying like $750 more if you buy it pre built, which is, which is stupid. That's, that's really stupid. I mean, but if you don't know how to build a computer, well, then maybe it's worth it, but. I don't think it is. They'll definitely be upselling you on them on on all these components though. They'll be adding they'll be adding money to these components. They will not be selling you them for used prices because they'll be selling them for brand new prices. But yet they're probably used because they have to test run the computer so they're used. They're not really brand new. And most of these components, they probably they probably uh, get them sent back into them, and then they send them for a repair, and then they get them returned back to them. Because people, when they buy a pre-built computer, they get like a really good warranty deal on them, so that they can just send it back in, and they'll send them another one. They'll send them like components, which could possibly be a good idea for for that, like because then you're always getting your components returned on you if something goes wrong so that's pretty much it i mean this is the case that that i'd probably be going with if i were to build this build and as you can tell this is probably the 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 best hard drive that i'd be going with because they last longer than most other hard drives like from what i've seen this this is a pretty good hard drive and like i said a thousand watt or an 850 850 seems to be a lot cheaper than it usually is so yeah, I would go with this. I bought my 850 watt for a hundred bucks. I got it on like a really good deal. Uh, so they have went up. Everything will be in the description of this video for this build. If you want to see more uh, stuff like this in the future, or if you want to see me actually build the computer, be sure to subscribe and follow the channel. Also, you can help me out by watching my Twitch streams when I play video games and stuff. And if I ever get partner on that, then all of the money that I make from Twitch will go into building computers. Yeah, I, I feel like I want to start building computers for my YouTube channel. And just showing you actually how to build them and what to actually put into them. And it's a lot easier to build a computer than actually have someone else do it for you. And then you have to pay the money to do it. And it's just stupid. It's not really that hard to build a computer. You just need to read the manual for when you need to hook up power cables and stuff like that well actually you don't really have to read the manual because sometimes they have like a thing where you just plug it in and then on the side of it it tells you what cable is which one but uh yeah that's that's a little bit uh, easier to do that some computers you need to do bios updates and stuff and that's kind of stupid but i had to do that with the current one that i'm running right now i had to get by the cpu and then i had to go online and then I had to tell them that I had the CPU and that I needed the boot kit. So they had to send me the boot kit. I did the boot kit, put the new CPU in, the 2700, and then I was able to run the 2700. And then I sent the boot kit back because you had to. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're looking at this one right now. This is the one that I'm probably going to build. Um, with my system right now, I can probably just do a BIOS update. So the BIOS update and then... Yeah, that's all I need to do with my B350 Plus, and I'll show you. So this is the motherboard that I got, and it's actually a pretty decent motherboard. I mean, they've they've ran all the uh, BIOS updates so far, and they look they, they're pretty decent. And you needed a BIOS update to get to the 2700X, so obviously they're probably going to continue support on this because they know that it probably can run the new one. This one's probably going to probably last for maybe Series 4 and 5 probably, and then that's probably it. Probably Series 6 won't, won't be good with this one. 
So then that would be the time to upgrade to another one when Series 6 comes out. But if you're looking to build probably like a streaming computer or a dedicated gaming computer, this is probably the best choice to go with for right now. If you want to go maybe more of like a workload computer, you want to get the newest Intel Intel CPU, which is like a the, the Series 10 or something. It's like a 900 something K or whatever. It's a workload uh, CPU. That's probably the best one if you want to do stream like a secondary streaming computer. And then if you want to do gaming, this is probably the best motherboard you can probably get for a 2700X as long as it has the BIOS update. And you want to make sure it has the BIOS update before you buy the motherboard. Because uh, if it doesn't, then buy a board that that um, already has the, the update put into it which would probably be one of the newer ones that are coming out soon but other than that if you're getting a 2700x if you're getting if you're building out my whole this whole this whole list here in the description and you're just going with a 2700x and probably a bm350 plus i'll have it all in the description below you also get two free games apparently so you probably get like whatever new games that are coming out then so you probably get like gears of war and probably um I don't know, Borderlands 2 or something. Uh, that's if that's what they're doing. I don't think that's what they're doing. But, let's see. They are doing... Doesn't tell me, but what I got was... The Division 2 was pretty good. That's the only game that I th that I played. So, But I, they gave me three games. But the only game that I played was Division 2. So yeah, this is a pretty good build. Everything will be in the description, like I've said. There is a new motherboard coming out for this, specifically for this CPU, but, I mean, you don't really need it. You just need one that can update the BIOS to the current one, and then you can pop this thing in. But, again, it's still only, like, again, they say they say the 950X right here, which, if you're going to learn more, it's the same thing. This is, this is probably what I'm getting right here. Uh, I don't know why anyone would go with this one, because, yeah, I don't... Uh, it just doesn't make any sense why people would go with the lower one when when this one here is gonna have 16 to 32 so I mean right and it's gonna run the same RAM as before so if you already have a build that that's already running this you want to take those components out and put them in this new one but if you're just gonna buy brand new one then buy brand new but um Everything everything looks pretty pretty decent. I mean, it seems like this is going to be running a lot smoother than the last one. So, from what I'm looking at, because the last the the 2700X runs at 4.0, you can overclock it to to this speed. But it looks like this is going to be running at like 5 gigahertz. It's going to go from 4.7 to 5 gigahertz per core. So that's actually pretty good. Um, this base clock thing I don't actually like that because the base clock in the 2700X is actually 4 4.0 so yeah that's weird uh yeah anyway that's shit I think that's about it so be sure to like comment and subscribe and I will be back with another video very soon